Alright, so let's look at how to change rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. Uh, th this one here, this shows you how to go from polar to rectangular. I've got videos on that, you can check those out. But the one that we're doing in this video is rectangular to polar. So we'll use the fact that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared and tangent theta is equal to y over x. Alright, so that's what we're going to use. And uh, just remember r and theta, that's the polar coordinate, x and y, that's the rectangular coordinate. And what I'm going to do is I've got several examples and each example will have its own video because they, you know, they might take a little while to do on some of them. But here's the examples. So this will be video one, video or example one, example two, example three, four, and then five. So what I've done is each point, you know, I've done a point in each quadrant, and then this video here, th these uh, these points lie on the on the x and y axis. So you can check those out too. All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's look at example two. Uh, we want to convert these from rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates and give two pairs of polar coordinates for each one. All right, so you can see in this example, there's actually four examples. So what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go through this first one kind of a little slower, and then the next ones, we'll go through those a little quicker. Because they're, I mean, they're all the same. If you can do one of them, you can do them all. But I did want to show you one from on each quadrant. All right, so let's look at the point zero, negative three. So we're going to work on this one. All right, so the first thing I need is I need r. Okay, well, let's look at it this way. Let's let's plot the point first. So if I plot zero and then negative three that's down here somewhere. Okay. Notice I'm not plotting them exactly. All I care about is what quadrant they're in or, or where they lie. Okay. All right. So we got 0, negative 3. All right. So we know that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And so that would tell us r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And so r is, let's see, 0 squared plus negative 3 squared. Okay. And so r is equal to, well, that's 0, that's 9. 0 plus 9 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So there's r. R is 3. Now I need theta. Okay. Now, if you remember, we know tangent theta is y over x. So in this case, tangent theta would be what? Negative 3 over 0. That's undefined. Okay. And if you remember, x cannot be undefined. But look, when one of the points falls on the axis, well, look at this. That's what? 270 degrees, right? So we get theta is 270. And, and it's, it's that simple when it falls on there. Just plot it. And, you know, look, it's either going to be 90, 180, 270, 0, or I guess you could do look at it as 360 also. Okay. So our polar coordinates here, that would be 3, r is 3, and theta is 270. Now, look at this. We want to get another pair. So we've got r is 3. Okay. Now, notice I went from here to here. That's 270. But, what if I rotate it this way? Well, that's rotating, what, 90 degrees? But since I'm rotating in the opposite direction, that would be negative 90. 
Okay, and then look at this. R, R can also be negative. Okay, I just I do the positive one. Okay, I do I, I like R to be positive and I like my angle to be positive. So more than likely this is the that's the coordinates I like to find. Okay, but look if R is negative three, then let's just draw that here real quick coming out to here because I go negative go this way for R and then I have to go to here right so R is negative 3 I rotate it in a negative direction so that would be negative 90 that's also an acceptable answer or I could do negative 3 and then look I could rotate this way Okay, and I'm sorry, this right here should be positive, okay, I'm rotating this way, when you're rotating this way, that will be positive, so now when I rotate this way, okay, so I've got, I've got, this was negative 3, positive 90, and now, look at this, I'm rotating opposite direction so that's going to be 180 90 that's going to be what 270 and that would be negative negative 270 okay so all of those are acceptable answers okay but I like I said I always like to do that one uh, just a just a preference but you know if they if you're working on your homework and it asks you to find you know two or three different points then that's how you do it all right so we're already up you know in time here so let's just go ahead and work through these next ones pretty quick uh, so let's come over here and plot our point I've got zero three so zero three okay so we know that R is and I'm going to go ahead and put square root x squared plus y squared. I want a positive r. So r is the square root of 0 squared plus 3 squared. And so that's going to be 0 plus 9 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. Okay. And then I can get theta real quick. Well, if I come out 3 and then I rotate, that's what? That's 90 degrees. And so my solution would be 3 90 degrees. Okay. Or let's look at this. Let's do it like this. Let's make R negative. So if I came out negative 3 and I rotated back this way, that would be what? That would be negative 90. Okay. And so there, that would be your second point. Okay. All right. Now let's look at the next one all right so let's do two zero so let's plot this point and we we'll go over two and then zero so that would be this point here so let's find r square root of x squared so two squared plus y squared so that's 4 plus 0 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, so r is 2. And then theta, well, I didn't rotate any, did I? So we could say theta is 0 degrees. Okay, so I would have, I would have a solution of 2, 0 degrees. And then another solution, I could do negative 2. Okay, and actually from here I could rotate this way or I could rotate back this way. I could say negative 2, 180, or I could say negative 2, and then if I rotated back this way, that would be negative 180. Okay. All right, so let's check out the last one here hopefully you're getting the hang of these they, they, these are actually easier than the other one than the ones that fall in the uh, you know 
in the different quadrants, first, second, third, and fourth quadrant. A lot easier when they fall on the axis. All right, so let's look at this, negative four, zero. So let's see, negative four and then zero. Okay, so let's get R. R is the square root, and that's going to be negative 4 squared plus 0 squared. So that's 16 plus 0 is 16. Square root of 16 is 4. And then we need theta. So if I'm out here at 4 and I rotate, well, theta is 180 degrees. And so my polar coordinates would be 4, 180 degrees. Okay, so see I went out here to 4 and then I rotated 180 degrees. Okay, or we could actually say what? 4 and then negative 180. And then let's do it when R is negative. So I go to negative 4, okay, and then don't rotate any, and that would be 0 degrees. So all these are the same point in polar coordinates. All right, so hopefully that helped. Uh, check out the other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.